the soul will clap its hands and sing. Uh, I put that phrase down in my journal many years ago, and it came back to me when I thought about the sheer delight I took in learning about the Nutcracker Ballet, learning about the history of ballet uh, from Jennifer Homans, and actually watching the performance of Balanchine's Nutcracker um, transmitted live from Lincoln Center on Wisconsin Public Television on, um, on Tuesday night. Uh, and for those of you who may get this message, there's going to be another, uh, another performance on Wisconsin Public Television at 3 on Saturday and again at 3 on Sunday. I had never seen the Nutcracker perform before. I had no idea why they called it the Nutcracker. I only knew Tchaikovsky's score because my sister gave me an LP for my 15th birthday and it was my first sort of entrance into Tchaikovsky and classical music and I just adored it. Um, never understood why it sounded Chinese at one point and, uh, and Ar Arabian at another <laughs> until I finally got to see the performance and realized that these different modes represent different candies. I mean, that production has everything to bring back the magic of a child's Christmas. Uh, and the rich, rich, rich history. This incredible book, Apollo's Angels. <laughs> I mean, we didn't even skim the surface, but it is really a remarkable story. Um, and the fact that while Balanchine was recreating the Nutcracker in New York City, the Soviets were dragging um, their visitors to see it performed in Moscow. I mean, I grew up in the Cold War. And that fact in itself is pretty dazzling. So anyway, I loved it, and I hope you do too.